Hello. Hey guys. I'm Jade. I'm Kibakani and welcome back to our channel Asclepian. So today we have a video for you guys which is about work experience and what you need to get into medicine at university. So we're going to focus on four key topics. So the first is going to be how to get it, then um, how long you should do it for, what type of work experience the university is looking for and finally how to use the work experience to get to your advantage. So yeah. we hope you enjoy the video and let's get in. Okay, so the first thing to talk about is that work experience can be really difficult to get. Yeah. Um, a lot of people <laughs> will struggle finding work experience, but we're just going to give you some tips that we think would be useful. With medical work experience, use every contact you have in the medical field. Whether it's someone you met once and or a family member, a friend, contact them, ask them if you can go to their practice or their hospital where they work at and see if they can help you out. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have any contacts, you can also just go on hospital websites in your area, uh, look up work experience or just how to get involved with the hospital. Sometimes you can just find numbers, emails, and you just email. Yeah. You just have to be like relentless with it. Yeah. Um, a lot of people just do that and it works sometimes. I mean, sometimes you have to send a lot of emails before you get anything back, yeah. but it's worth it. So if you don't have any contacts, that way also works. Mm -hmm. So aside from medical uh, work experience, you can also do a lot of volunteering. So this can be care homes, charity shops, and something that everyone seems to do is like something to do with first aid. I did St. John Ambulance. Yes. Yeah, um, there are a lot of different ones out there, so get involved with that. So work experience doesn't always have to be medical. You can work in a shop, we can work in restaurants, all these things that you can get transferable skills from mm -hmm. and things that you can weave in your personal statement to show that you have all these skills that are useful for someone who does medicine. And also, you can go to your school. I'm sure a lot of schools will have careers advisors and people can help you get work experience. Um, a lot of schools also have organizations that are linked to them. My school had links to higher education access programs, one of which is the Social Mobility Foundation or SMF. Uh, another one is the HIPS program. I think it stands for Higher Education Access Program. So these are all places where you can go. They'll give you mentors, who are either medical students or doctors, and they'll also help you get work experience. So that's something very useful you can get involved in from uh, when you get to sixth form. So another great resource is Medify. They can help you work, find work experience via the website. They now have a tab for work experience, so you just click on it and it will help you search for hospitals in your area. And a lot of the time it just links you directly to the hospitals page and you can send your application. So that's another yeah. great way to find work experience as well. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to have all the links to those resources in the description box below. Mm -hmm. So the next thing to talk about is the duration of your work experience. So I think the most important thing to point out is that it's really not about the duration or about having X amount of hours of work experience. Really, your work experience is there for you to get exposure to the field, yeah. see if it is the right career for you and be able to justify why exactly it is the right career for you and exactly. do this by the experiences that you have. So I think another way to look at it is that the um, amount of work experience you should have is possibly dictated by the type of work experience that you have. Mm. So um, we'll just break it down the same that we did in terms of how you can get the work experience. So starting with medical, you'll probably, if you do get any work experience in the medical field, you'll probably do it in a GP or a hospital. Yeah. And if you do your experience in a GP or a hospital, you can probably expect to do one to two weeks, which will work out at five to 10 days. Yeah. And it's really useful to just try and fit this into your break. So plan ahead, be proactive, and maybe do it in your Easter or your summer, just somewhere where you have a bit of time yeah. and you can do it. And obviously, it's great if you can get longer than like one to two weeks in this type of specialty, but don't feel like you have to. And as well, obviously, if somewhere's only prepared to give you, say, five days or three days, mm. take it. It yeah. really doesn't matter because what you see in those three days could be more than what some people see in a month, depending on how much they're going. Yeah. So I'd say that's kind of advice Definitely. for medical. In terms of volunteering, I'd say people possibly tend to do uh, a few hours each weekend more than likely is what yeah. I heard from people. So if you are volunteering in a care home at a weekend, you can probably expect to do a few hours each week. And you could do this for longer, so maybe a few months to a year maybe, yeah. if you're happy doing it. And obviously because this type of work experience is in smaller doses, so you would spread it out and it does look better if you've committed to it for longer. Yeah. And finally, for the non-medical work experience, obviously do this as much as you're happy and as much as you have time for. This is a really invaluable way to kind of develop your skills further than beyond just medicine, which everyone needs. Yeah. <laughs> and it's always great to have just general work experience on your CV. Mm -hmm. So do this as much as you're happy. And in combination, if you're doing a bit of each of the three that we've described, obviously just do as much as you are able to do. And remember that you need your grades at the end of the day. Yeah. You should only be doing as much as you feel happy doing. 
and it shouldn't be at the detriment of anything else that you are yeah. doing at the time. And yeah, so I think what we really just like to highlight again is that there's no minimum or maximum needed. Yeah. Obviously, everyone understands the difficulty there is in getting work experience. Yeah. But the main thing is that if you have work experience, you use it to the, your advantage. It's not a case of you have to have a set number of hours. So don't stress about it too much. Just try your best to get some if you can. Yeah, definitely. So with regards to what universities are looking for in terms of work experience, I think it's mostly something that shows that you've gained insight into the medical field. Mm -hmm. So studying medicine at university and also working as a doctor. Because... Working as a doctor comes with a lot of challenges. So if you do work experience and you recognize some of those challenges and you find out that even with all of those challenges, you're still wanting to do medicine and you think your personality fits the career, then that's what they're looking for. Yeah. So anything you do that shows that you've researched the field and you know what you're talking about will look good on your personal statement. So next we're going to talk about how to use your work experience to your advantage. And this is possibly the most important factor of the work experience yeah. that you get. Obviously, throughout the application process, it's not about the quantity you have, it's about the quality and your ability to reflect on the experience you've had, gain insight into the specialty, and also just to show how your character suits the profession during studying for the degree and beyond that. Yeah. So um, we do recommend kind of utilising the work experience you have, if you have any, at each stage of the application process. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to run you through how you can do this at each stage. Starting with your personal statement, uh, we do have a video of writing personal statements, which we have kind of put for applying yeah. medicine and um, so if you haven't seen that and you are interested make sure to go and give it a watch but just to reiterate what we discussed there is for your work experience definitely mention it in your personal statement but don't just list what you have because even though it's really important to get across that you have work experience whatever it may be mm -hmm. you also need to show that you can reflect on it and show that through this experience why you do feel that you are suitable for the both the degree and the career because yeah. that's the most important thing that they want to get across from you not that you've got 600 hours plus yeah. because you could do 600 hours and you might not have gained that much from it if you're not able to reflect on it as you go which is possibly one of the most important things you can do yeah. in the medical profession yeah plus adding all the skills that you observed or any skills that you learned during your experience that'll be key as well yeah so an example of how you could use this in your personal statement is that if you did um some experience on a ward which could involve you observing a multidisciplinary team meeting or mdt as everyone calls it mm. you could mention this in your personal statement and just discuss how it shows that obviously healthcare is a teamwork profession yeah. and you need every member of the team to enable full health of the patient so you could bring in don't obviously just use that example but yeah. i just mean that's the type of thing you can do that how you've seen something but also how it impacted on you and helped you understand the requirements of being a doctor yeah definitely and similarly, when you go on an interview, it's really important to know the work experience you have yeah. and to know what you wrote in your personal statement about it because work experience is a really popular question to come up yeah. in an interview. So it's really important that A, obviously, if you've got the work experience, you should be able to talk about it, but B, that you know what you put in your personal statement. Yeah. So definitely use it then as well. If you do get the chance to go to an interview, it is a chance for you to show off. Finally, another thing to say about work experience is that you're not just trying to tick a box on your application. Yeah. Work experience will see you through the application process, your degree and beyond. And it really is just about you gaining more insight and developing as a person and obviously just acquiring the skills needed as a doctor, mm -hmm. whether that's the patients you see, um, the teamwork dynamic you observe, just yeah. everything, like it all helps you to become the best doctor you can be. Yeah. So this is why it's really important and why you shouldn't really emphasize the amount it obviously is just about the quality so, definitely yeah so now we're just going to tell you a bit about our work experiences and how mm -hmm. we found them mm -hmm. so i had work experience at chelsea and westminster hospital i had that for two weeks and i applied via the social mobility foundation they sort of like linked us to the hospital and then we applied that way i also worked in a gp i found that through my mom's friend who's a nurse there so I just asked her if there was work experience and then she spoke to the manager and I got that. I worked in a care home. I applied that myself. I just went on the website and I sent a few emails and I ran some people and they said they were happy for me to go in once every week. So I did that for quite a long while, I think almost a year. And I also did the St. John Ambulance um, First Aid, which I did for like two years. I started that when I was in year 12. Those were my work experience and I really enjoyed all of them and I would recommend them if you're interested. So for my work experience, it's a little bit different. My first bit of work experience that I got was working in a pharmacy. So I applied to work there as soon as I turned 16 and I worked there for three years every Saturday. So I just had a part-time job there and really enjoyed it. And through this, 
uh, job, I also managed to get experience in a GP practice, which was connected. So I did a week there and I just got to shadow each of the doctors, do home visits and also sit in with the nurses, just get a really good overview of what it's like to work in a GP practice. And obviously I could see the other side of it from working in the pharmacy as well. So in terms of our work experience, as you can probably tell, it's quite varied. Yeah. We're friends with way more than us. We're yep. friends with a bit less than us. So with work experience, it really does vary. Yeah. So don't let that like deter you from applying to medical school. And I think another thing to point out is like, I had no connections, other than a family member who worked in a pharmacy, I had no connections with anyone in healthcare, so I didn't have anything like that to use. I know a lot of people in my school were in the same position, so it really was just about trying to try anything and everything you could. Yeah. And when I first got my job in the pharmacy, I wasn't set on doing medicine then, so obviously you never know what you're going to do, you might change your mind at any point, do you mean in terms of what part of medicine you like, so don't be set on I want to do a particular area for experience yeah. and also just utilize the fact that you could make contacts you could meet people who yeah. will help you further on like I don't think I would have got the experience in the GP practice if I hadn't have worked in the pharmacy beforehand so you just yeah. never know who you're going to meet and how it could help you just progress and develop so I think that's all the advice we have for you guys uh, on work experience if you have further questions put them in the uh, comments below and we'll reply there yeah. so thank you very much for watching uh, we'll see you guys in the next one bye guys bye